Well, we've talked six months. You know, this could happen anytime. And it does with many cancer patients. I, my, my situation could change dramatically and I will go into the process of, of, of truly dying. How that looks with most cancer patients is not the agony that they portray in dramatic productions. What happens with most deaths, particularly deaths from cancer, they just kind of decline. How are you doing? They sleep, they sleep more. Your, your body is filling up with toxins that it can no longer eliminate. What about that? A little better, you think? But what they do is they don't so much cause pain as they, they affect your consciousness. And you drift away. And you're just not, you, you're less and less present. Yeah. Can you tell us at all about the pain? What I do is I just become less and less available. I become less and less attached to the people around me, which is a preparation for dying, which happens all the time. Difficult sometimes for loved ones because they just want to hold on so tight. And there comes a time when all you can do is sit there, be with this person wherever they are. So as the person dies, they just, it's, it's kind of like watching a candle flicker out. And the angels, they fly from the branches of heaven Sweetly falling on our clear heads In the fall, 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 falling down, down <coughs> There's a kind of breathing that tends to come toward the end and it looks very labored and person's lying there, their mouth is wide open, and they're taking a breath every once in a while. And you sit there, and you're always wondering, is this it? More a vision than a memory, my old man poet floating in the leaf. And the angels, they fly from the branches of heaven. Even though I question the God idea, I look around and what I found is a divinity comes to me more a vision than a memory. My old man poet floating in the leaf and the angels they fly from the branches.